हरि ओम स्टार्ट द प्रेयर ओम समस्त जन कल्याणे निरतं करुणामय नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचानोरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु तमेव माता च पितामे तमेव बंधुश सखात्मे विद्याद्रविडमेवेवेव तमेव सर्वेव देव हरि ओम वी आर् डूइंग दि पंचदशी नईन् चाप्टर एसेंशली ऑन द मेडिटेशन बट द मेडिटेशन ऑन निर्गुण ब्रह्म which is essentially we said is oxymoron because one cannot really meditate because in the avadhuta gita dattatraya says aham jata paranjeyam akhandam kandate katham so i want to meditate he says how can you do meditation because aham jata i am a meditator and paranjeyam this is to be meditated on you are creating a duality where there is no duality so how can you create so here it's not a creation and meditation of something it's meditation on the on the mahavakya itself aham brahmasmi it's not any more meditation the 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 essence of the meditation is i am that brahman it's only claiming but i am repeating as though by a thought process even though it's beyond the thought but slowly slowly i get i go into a situation of nirvikalpa samadhi and ultimately recognize this because i have already studied mahavakya which are done me mahavakya vichara but not able to abide in that knowledge therefore i know about the paroksha gyanam and also mahavakya mahavakya vicharam also is there but i am not able to claim because of some pratibandhas and that can be removed by this nirguna brahma upasana and what kind of knowledge it will be is going to be emphasized here in the shloka 128 now nirvikara sanga nitya nirvikara sanga nitya so prakashaika purnata so prakashaika purnata buddhe jatiti shastrokta buddhe jatiti shastrokta आरोहंच विवाद आरो आरोहंच विवाद तगदर निर्विकारा संग निच्या स्वप्रकाशकपूर्णता बुद्धे जटिति शास्त्रोक्ता आरोहंच विवाद so what is the nature of the reality that abiding here we are giving that nirguna brahma and being defined some kind of as though coat and coat with the gunas now it is what are the gunas it is actually a negation of the gunas itself is a guna is being described here nirvikarah that which does not undergo any modification only finite things can go modification that's why a finite thing can be continuously changing and when it more undergoes modification there has to be changeless entity in the changing things that's what we learn as a part of our science also says when a becomes a b a b becomes a c a transformation of a to b b to c things can transform from one form to the other but what is that which doesn't undergo any transformation is that is the law of conservation and it is from the matter point it is a matter from energy point it is the energy from the brahman point it is a brahman brahman includes everything it's beyond the matter because brahman is a conscious entity then how can unconscious entities are created as though so therefore it is brahman is nirvikarah it cannot undergo any creation or can do any creation but therefore what you see is only apparent but not really real so also nirvikarah so that which is changeless in all the changing things i am able to see that pure existence expressed in different forms that's why paroksha gyanam helps me into recognizing that existence without getting carried away with the names and forms 
nirvikaraha asangaha that which is not undergo any modification because of contact this is where it is a brahman is nirgunam therefore any sangam attachment is only a superficial therefore the the gold does not get attached to the attributes of the ring or attributes of the necklace or attributes of the of the bracelet because their attributes do not belong to the gold so even though temporarily gold has taken the attributes of the ring as a ring bangle as a bangle necklace as a necklace but in and through the ring and the bangle one is the essence of it is the same so therefore is asangaha is untouched by the problems of the ring and the problems of the bangle and the problems of the ringle मैयादमिदम अव्यक्तमूर्ति मस्ता सर्वूता न चाहम तेषु अवस्थि ई एम नाट अफेक्टेड बै देर अवस्था बै देर स्टेट्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस ई एम नाट अफेक्टेड अट ऑल सो दे फोर इट ईज असंग एंड निच निच मीन एटर्न that which undergoes that's the definition of a reality that which is eternal that which uh, this trikala abhaditam that which does not undergo any any negation at any time so ring is right now is there it is no more ring when i convert it into bangle so there it is called baditam ring is baditam bangle is baditam any finite is baditam means it undergoes transformation the transformation less transformation is that which is gold alone and that's nichyam swaprakasham swaprakar means it is self evident so what should i do when i realize how do i know that i am brahman it's like asking how do i know when i see the sun it is a sun sun itself is a for other things i need a torch light so to see the sun do i need a torch light well sun itself is swaprakashah for shining by itself and self illuminating so i don't need another illumination natatra suryo vaati na chandra tarakam nema vidyudo vanti kutoya magnihi so there no no sun is required sunlight is not required moonlight is not required starlight is not required even this light that i am showing is also not required but that itself is i am chanting with that statement and why because tasya bhasa sarvamidam vibhati in your light only i can see everything and that i don't need a light there who is so prakashah ekah because it's anantatvat because it's infinite there can only be one and purnatah and it is full these are not attributes but something a pointer for the mind to contemplate in the direction to negate all other apurnatam and all other things that are belong to that this is essentially that which is where i had to use the light in order to see it then it's not that nirvika any anything that undergoes accommodation cannot be brahman and so on so forth buddhehi jatiti say buddhehi so in the in the clear understanding of that is this jatiti is immediately or quickly or shastroktah apa arohatan vivad vivadatah so abhivad arohatan arohatan cha vivadah arohanti abhivadatah so aroh arohanti means accepted by the mind immediately accepted as by when it is seen as i am in fact it is ascharyavat pasyati kasya dena ascharyavat padati tadaiva janya ha it is wonder of all wonders you can see because it's a it's a brilliance of it it's your own self not some brilliance of something else so therefore shastroktah this is what shastra says so and that is what the you get from the shastra pramana so that's exactly what becomes a the in the nirvikalpa samadhi i recognize that itself as that 129 now yoga abhyasastu etadartah yoga abhyasastu etadartah amruta binda amruta bindva dis dubadishrutah amruta bindva dishrutah 
बिंबादिशु सुतहा एवं चदुष्ट द्वारापी एवं चदुष्ट द्वारापी हेतुत्वादन्यतोवरम हेतुत्वादन्यतोवरम तो क्या था योगा ब्यासस्तु ये तदर्थहा आमुर्दबिंदाद विशु सुतहा एवं चदुष्ट द्वारापी हेतुत्वादन्यतोवरम so etata artham so this is the 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 purpose this is in fact is the explained in the in the amruta bindu this is exactly the 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 implication or the purport of the scriptures to yoga abhyasaha in the practice of yoga nirvikalpa samadhi yoga that is nirguna upasana leads to the Sabhikalpa and then Nirvikalpa and then the knowledge also. So Nirvikalpa Samadhi, Amrita Bindu, Amrita Bindu Shu, Amrita Bindu Adi Shu, in the Amrita Bindu Upanishad and etc. in other Upanishads, he gives a reverence to the Amrita Bindu Upanishad. In Amrita Bindu Bhishma, she is the one, Manayeva Manushyanam, Karanam Bandha Mochayoho, Bandhaya Vishayasaktam, Mukta Enir Vishayam Srutam. This comes from the Amrita Bindu Upanishad. So Amrita Bindu, Adishu, Adishu means etc. together, similar Upanishad. Srutam says the Sruti has been declared, declaring this. So Evam in this way, Cha, Drushtadwara, so from the drusha from the nirvikalpa samadhi dwara drusha here from the nirvikalpa samadhi dwara api hetutva for the reason anyataha varam hetutva one can recognize this and anyataha varam so this is better than any other upasana of that one because this directly leads to that ultimately provided you i have understood the the Vedanta, Vedanta by Sravada, Manaha, Srotavyaha, Mantavyaha, and I am unable to do Nididhyasana, therefore this, this Upasana may lead me ultimately to that upa, the Nididhyasana and then realize it. Nididhyasana is essentially the Nirvikalpa Samadhi and ultimately claiming that I am Brahmasmi, Sahaji Samadhi, you can say. 130. Upechata Tirtha Yatra, Upechata Tirtha Yatra, Japadi Neva Kurvatam, Japadi Neva Kurvatam, Pindam Samutsu Jakaram, Pindam Samutsu Jakaram, Lady Tinaya Apate, Lady Tinaya Apate, together. Upechata Tirtha Yatra, Japadi Neva Kurvatam, Pindam Samatsrujya, Karam Lady Tinaya Apate. So here he is denouncing all other methods here. Upechya, ignoring that which is direct, directly available, Tat Upechya, ignoring the Nirguna Pasana. Tirtha Yatra Japa Adim. So people, people go from Tirtha Yatra, go from the, the uh, holy places they travel, they want to here, they want to Kasi, they want to Himalayas, they want to uh, Rishikesh and all that, you know, go travel around. Why? To see the Lord. And what do you see there? Your own self there. So one person followed. Uh, uh, somebody is going, in those days there were no trains and all that, you have to walk through Kasri and all that, Kasli, or to Himalayas to see Narayana Badri, Badri Yatra. So he went Badri Yatra from all the way from Kerala going there. And this man says, why is he going all the way? What is there? There is something, something special which is not here. So he followed him all the way. And when he goes all the way to, with all the efforts and after many days and in front of Badri Narayana, he close, stands there in front and then closes his eyes. This man said, why is he closing his eyes? He came all the way to see Badri Narayana, but he's closing his eyes. You could have closed the eyes somewhere else. So what is it? You're not seeing anything when you close the eyes. So what, what, point is, what is the point in coming all the way here? 
So he, he, when he opened the eyes, he asked you, why did you close the eyes? You want to see the Narayana, why didn't you open the eyes? So that man just laughed because I'm seeing Badri Narayana here, but what I want to see is the Badri Narayana inside. Now I have to see him inside. I'm closing the eyes because the desire to see outside is now has to transfer to the desire to see inside. Antar Bahishyata Sarvam Vyapyanarayana Stitaha Seeing here, seeing everywhere is the, is the Narayana. That's exactly is the knowledge itself. And therefore, the Upekshya, that going to different places for, for, uh, for uh, the Yatras and all that. And that's called Tirtha Yatra. Japadi, Japa means doing some Japam or some Ashtotra Namam or some other, or chanting Vishnu Sahasra Namam. There is nothing wrong with it, but that cannot be, that should lead to something. That is, Chitta Suddhi is required, but after purification, then you have to go to the next step. And that is essentially, Tirtha Yatra Japa Adin Eva Kurvatam. Those who do it, so those people who are in, even ignoring this, those people who do all other things. So, Pindam Samusrajya. Karam lady, lady, iti. So this is a nyayam. This is a, so a fellow is having a sweet in his hand and he throws this sweet but licks his hand. So what good is that? You could have eaten the sweet instead of licking your hand. So having something in your hand and ignoring it and going after something all over the world to see the Lord, where Lord is in right in your heart itself and anywhere you see is right there only and ignoring that you want to go and see. When you can't see it and you want to see, at least go to the temple, go to do puja and all that. That is important, okay. But here, is, is, this is a nyaya, that is what is this? Having sweet in your hand, pindam samusrujya karam lady iti. This is called nyaya. So, pindam samusrujya karam lady iti. Having a sweet in your hand and throwing it away and then licking your fingers, and they say having right there, Lord is right there and uh, ignoring it and you're going searching for the Lord all over the place. It is like that. When he says that, he says, sir, this is also a place to Nirguna Upasana too. Because Saguna Upasana right there is a Brahman. Then why, if you are doing Nirguna Upasana without inquiring that what you, even the doer himself is, is, the, is the seeker, the seeker himself is the thought. And ignoring that, you are doing again seeking somewhere by upasana also. Is it not the same thing? He says, yes. That's the 131. Upasaka naam apyevam, upasaka naam apyevam, vijarachya gato yadi, vijarachya gato yadi, badam tasmat vichar, vicharasya, badam tasmat vicharasya. Asambhave yoga iritaham, asambhave yoga iritaham. Together, Upasaka naam apyevam, vicharachya gato yadi, badam tasmat vicharasya, asambhave yoga iritaham. So, if you are saying that even this Nirguno Brahma Upasana is also like licking your hand, same nyayam is applicable. Throwing the, throwing the sweet away and licking the land, hand is the same way because you are throwing away vichara which is directly inquired instead of going round about and doing something else. Is it not the same way? says, yes. Vichara chagataha upasakana mapi. So one who has chagam left over the inquiry into the nature of the reality, that aham brahmasmi, removing that and doing the the japa every day, what good is that? He says, Upasakana api evam, it's also like throwing away the sweet and then licking your hand. And the same nyaya applies also. So, uh, so in that case, Yadi, if you say so, Badam, you are right. Tasmat, therefore, vicharasya, therefore one has to do vichara. So, enquiry is better. Eating the sweet in your hand is better than throwing it and licking your hand. So therefore, he, he, the, uh, the enquiry into the nature of the reality is Mahavakya Vichara Tad Vijnasasva Tad Brahmeti. You have to enquire into the nature of the reality. That's what Upanishad says. Therefore, ignoring that 
then you are doing upasana, aham brahmasmi, aham brahmasmi, aham brahmasmi, you can repeat many times, nothing will happen, but slowly, slowly, that will lead you to Redvi Kalpa Samadhi. Why you can, when you can do vichara, so if you are not able to do asambhavi, if you are not able to do vichara, that means enquiry, eva, yoga hai rite, then you do the meditation on nir, nirguna brahma. If you can't see the Lord everywhere, at least go to the temple and see. So therefore that is seeing, not, if you, you should not go to the temple, it's not there. You have to go to Yatra and see the Lord there, because you are not able to see the Lord here. So if the mind will be able to concentrate there better, then go there. But if you can concentrate here, then there's no point in going all the way there. So therefore, the only those who cannot do the vichara, those I am doing Aham Brahma vichara, those who cannot really do, they are the ones who are supposed to, this, this Nirguno Brahma Upasana helps for them. That's what essentially, so it's not for everybody. If they, if you can do the nirguna, the the vichara of on the aham brahmasmi vichara, mahavakya vichara, then this upasana is not required. If because of the pratibandhas, obstacles are there, some are adrushta obstacles that you do not see it. Somehow your mind getting perturbation because of something because you are getting involved in the daily activities. In those cases, it's better to do the upasana. We'll do 132. Bahu Vyakula Chitta Ram. Bahu Vyakula Chitta Ram. Vichara Tatva Dhir Nahi. Vichara Tatva Dhir Nahi. Yogo Mukyastate Sham. Tatashi Sham. Yogo Mukyastate Sham. Yogo Mukyastate Sham. Dhidarpe, dhidarpe na nasyati, dhidarpe na nasyati. Together, bahu vyakula chitta naam, vichara tattva dhir nahim, yogo mukya stadas desham, dhidarpa stena nasyati. Bahu vyakula chitta naam. So here he is giving you to who? One is suggested to do the Nirguna Pasana. Bahu Yakula Chittanam. Chittanam, the mind is, is perturbed uh, tremendously because of the involvement in the activities. When you depend on something other than yourself, you are having a problems. And that's what essentially Vyakulam. Vyakulam is about what's going to happen, about the future, about the present, and about the past. What you did, bothering you, what you what you are doing, bothering you, and what you are going to, what the results of the future that comes, you are also bothered about it. So, Bahu Vyakula Chittanam Vichare, the one who is, whose mind is getting perturbed by the activities of the day-to-day -day life. So, then, Vichara, by inquiry, Tat Tattva Dihi Na, the their mind, their intellect is not able to do the vichara. It means the realization of the truth is not able to possible for that kind of mind. So, tataha, tesham, yogaha, for them, because of that, tesham, for those people who are not able to concentrate on, on the, doing the vichara, inquiring, Yogaha Nirguna Brahma Upasana for them the Nirguna Brahmasana Mukyaha is important. Tena Didarpaha Nasyati. In that by doing that, that Didarpaha the Nasyati, the agitations in the mind will be, will go away slowly so that the mind is now available for either inquiry or or into the to the state of understanding because you already gained the knowledge. Now, mind has to settle down and see the truth as it is. So therefore, who is really has to do vichara and who is to do the, the upasana? Those who are mentally agitated in their transactions after understanding that Brahma Satyam, Jagan Mitya, Jeevo, Brahmaivanapara, after understanding the truth throughout, through Vedanta, Sravana Srotavyaha, Mantavyaha, Nidhijasitavya. 
by constantly listening to the scriptures under a competent teacher for a prolonged length of time and understanding it without any doubts and abiding in the knowledge becomes a problem because of the perturbations and those people have to do it. If you don't have it, we'll see in the next mantra, 133. <speaking in foreign language> Mukyo Mukyo Jatati Siddhidhaihi Mukyo Jatati Jatiti Siddhidhaihi Together Avya Kuladhyam Moham Matra Avya Kuladhyam Moha Matre Matre Natsadi Natatmanam Sankhyana Mo Vicharasya Mukyo Jatati Siddhidha Siddhidha so, avyakula dhiyam. So, avyakula dhiyam. The one whose intellects are not perturbed, the ones whose intellects are calm and quiet all the time, to the degree, the minds, whose minds are free from agitations. Moha matrena achadat atmanam. And whose self is covered because of the delusion still. His mind is quiet. But because of the ragadveshas, moha is, is here because of the remaining ragadveshas or likes and dislikes are covering the claiming my, the to that aham brahmasmi is obstructing because I feel myself, I am a local entity, I am the jiva, I am with the body, my intellect, that notions are strongly coming in the transactional world because you have to transact in the world. And in the transactions, your body is different from other body. Your bank account is different from other people's bank account. So you have to transform. Even a jnani has to transform. But you do not get carried away with the transformation, with the perturbation in the mind all the time. Mind is always calm and quiet and, and serene to that mind, avyakulaha dhyam. That mind which is able to contemplate sankhyanam, so essentially, mohamatrena atmanam, that sankhyanam. So inquiry, sankhya here is inquiry, Vedantic inquiry, that means jnana yoga nam, by, by the uh, inquiry into the nature of the reality, jnana yoga, vicharaha inquiry, mukhyasya, that is the main sadhana for those who do not get immediately perturbed by the activities in the world. So idea is to withdraw from the activities becomes important. Therefore, you have a the the, the brahmachari, grahastha, uh, the manaprastha, and sannyasa. So for this reason only, because the mind get perturbed when you are transacting the world. So therefore, the transactions in order to minimize the transactions, the professions, possessions, transactions, and the relationships have to be minimized. So that mind unnecessarily doesn't get involved. But whatever the prarabdha brings it, they have to go through that process. So this is Mohamatrinacha Atmanam Sankhya Nama, the inquiry can be done as Vichara, Mukhyasya. In that case, so Jatiti quickly Siddhisa, one firmly abides in the knowledge. So those people who do not have the the, who can concentrate on, on the vichara and doesn't get perturbed, they should go to that. So nididhyasitavya is what scripture points out. But if you can do nididhyasana, then only you need a second. The next level is called the nirguna brahma upasana. We'll do 134. Yat sankhai stanam. Yat sankhai prapyate stanam. Tad yoga irapi gamyati, tad yoga irapi gamyati, ekam sankhyancha yogancha, ekam sankhyancha yogancha, yaf pasyati sa pasyati, yaf pasyati sa pasyati, together, yaf sankhyehi prapyati stanam, tad yoga irapi gamyati, ekam sankhyancha yogancha, yaf pasyati sa pasyati. So, 
here he is quoting from the scripture from the point of Bhagavad Gita. Ya sankhyaihi prakyate, that which can be gained by the jnana yoga, sthanam, tat yoga irapi gamyate, that one can also reach by the yoga. Yoga means where a sadhana at the level of either the mind or at the body level. Kaya, the kaya vakmanaha. So, it is by the body at the same time, puja and walk, by the speech, by japa and all that, or chanting of the, the stavam, this, the quotation of the Vishnu Sahasrama or some other uh, of the, on the God, or the yoga, the, by the mind, mental meditation, and first on the Saguna Upasana, then on Nirguna Brahma Upasana. So, that was, that is, becomes a yoga. Yoking the mind to that is called yoga. So, tad yoga irapi gamyate. So, even that also, by also you can reach it. That's what Krishna said. Ekam sankhyam cha yogam cha. And the one which is same, that which is either by the jnana yoga or by the karma yoga or bhakti yoga and all that, it's one alone. And yaha paschati, who understands this clearly, saha paschati, he really understands it. One who tries to differentiate, this is different, that is different, that means they are trying to make a differentiation, then they won't understand the essence of it. Therefore, Krishna says, the yoga also leads ultimately to that. So, karma yoga is jnana yoga yagyata siddhyartam. By doing karma yoga, you are doing karma. So, Krishna, Arjuna asked this question, says, how oh, you are asking me to, to, you are glorifying the Sankhya yoga, at the same time asking me to involve in the war. In the war. Says this, says this, uh, the both are essentially two, they are not two different paths. One path is required for those who don't, cannot do the other one, other path can do those who can do. So, therefore, the Sankhya Yogena, Yogena, so the one that these two paths have been decided by me, then that is the Sankhya Yoga for those who are capable of and the, for those who are not capable, they do the, the Karma Yoga and through Karma Yoga, then you graduate to Sankhya Yoga. That's what essentially Ekam Sankhyam Cha Yogam Cha Yappasyati Tapasyati. So therefore, one who, who, who understands this current clearly, they alone can understand is what Pasyati means, one who sees, one who sees this, he alone sees. Your seeing means understanding. I hope you see what I'm saying. And therefore, that is the 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 yoga also ultimately leads to the, the next level of Sankhya and Sankhya will take. So those who are not able to do Sankhya, you have to do yoga. Those who can do directly the Tadvijnana Artam Sagurmeva Vigatset Samit Panihi Sotriyam Brahman Ishtam. For that only you approach a knowledge. Until then you purify the mind so that Pariksha Lokan Karma Chidan Brahmano Nirveda Maya Nascha Krutha Krutena. So examination of one's own life is required as a part of sadhana to go to the next level. So here he is glorifying the, the both are important. The, those who can do vichara have to do. Those who cannot do because of Pratibandha can do the upasana that is Nirguna Brahma Upasana and they also will realize the ultimately and is going to talk more about the Nirguna Brahma Upasana and what happens to them when they are not realized but they, kick, they die in, in the process you see, they will go to Brahma Loka and all that we will take up in the next class Hari Om Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Bhyo Nama Harihi Om <coughs>